At this point, the hot liquor tanks filled with water, 160 degrees, are filling slowly. Only one of them now, I can turn them both on. The mash ton filling it with water slowly. This isn't quite a fly sparge, but it does the trick, especially when both of them are on. And then I can, I've diverted these a little bit more than that even. Uh, down they go, and draining into the boil kettle is the wart. I'll uh, rotate these guys around, and I'll also need one of the um, hot liquor tanks as a boil kettle, so I'll have three kettles going at once. I'm going to fill this one to about, you know, five gallons and continue rotating them out because the first runnings are going to be extremely high in sugar, of course. And inside, a little treat here, I have put on my stove in the kitchen a smaller side mash which I just used my stove to heat up and I used a bag of dark malt. So this is uh, Crystal 80 and some chocolate malt uh, just to do a little side mash. I don't really want the sugars. I want the flavors and the aromatics of this. I let this warm up to about 140, 150 and just soaked it. I'll squeeze the water out of this bag, uh, this nylon mesh bag, and I'll have this liquid. Um, it'll be curious to see what the uh, sugar concentrations is what the play-doh is on this but I'm not really concerned it's a small amount it's probably not going to be very high in sugar considering it's just flavor malts but it's going to be a way for me to add that to one of these kettles and create a darker beer so Vienna malt is the overall malt bill for this recipe uh, which is about I think 15 to 25 percent Vienna malt the rest is pills That's the Vienna uh, lager that I like to make. I should probably go to about 50 percent Vienna malt um, And then I think I used a small amount of crystal 20 or crystal 40 at like 5 percent So this is um, going to allow me to create uh, a little bit of a um, I don't even know what to call it. Well, it's gonna be interesting to see what it looks like I just wanted something that tasted like this